grab a beer and drop your pants in the web and get your pants in. Oh, man, show. Quick your job and light a fart. Make your favorite private part. It's the man show. It's a place where they can come together. Juggy Dan Hi, Squad. Jugs. Hi, Fox. How are you? Good. Good. Excellent. Excellent. This is fucking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! He, uh, All right. Profanity five seconds in. He almost forgot to take his medicine. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, part of the reason we wanted to get this show on TV is to set the record straight on certain things that we think are false. Some myths about men that have gotten out of hand. We also wanted to see girls jumping on trampolines. Yeah! 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 For, the, for the most part, television is full of crap, and once TV gets a ball of crap rolling, well, it only picks up steam. I'll give you an example. Wives that chase their husbands around for sex. Any of you guys married? Do your wives chase you around for sex? But on TV, from Mrs. Roper to Peg Bundy, the women are constantly begging for schlong. Yes. What they want you to believe is once you marry them, they magically get hornier. This is a diabolical plan to trick us into commitment. To bamboozle us into thinking that some kind of metamorphosis is going to take place when suddenly they want it more than we do. When we can't even take a leak without them pouncing on our junk. Like Dino jumping on Fred when he comes up the driveway. Now, that day will never come, but by the time you realize it, you're old. Your penis just looks up at you and shrugs. Here, here's the fact. Men are hornier than women. Much hornier. I'm this close to humping Jimmy's leg, I swear to God. He's done it. And a wedding ring is going to change that. Just look at the hooker community. Female prostitutes service men. And male prostitutes service men. <laughs> it's biology. We beg them. That's the way God set it up. Hey, if we didn't have this instinct, we wouldn't let them in the house, right? Nope. Marriage is to sex what rain is to a ball game. My wife, uh, with the excuses, the maladies, the tunnels dug under the bedroom, her period used to last two days, three at the most. Now they go on for months. She's, she's still got one flowing from Christmas. It's a hell of a stocking stuffer. If you want to get married, that's fine. You have the kids, you mow the lawn, you do the whole marriage thing. But if you're doing it for the sex, you are barking up the wrong bush. Yeah. I, I have been married 11 years. We've had sex five times. <laughs> We're here to teach. I've seen three of them. <laughs> All right. Now, let's move on. The learning continues. You know, I'm no house frau, but I like a nice household hint every once in a while. It's hard to beat on a tip on how to get ants off the counter, or how to get barbecue sauce out of a flannel t-shirt. Well, wait a minute, you can't beat that tip unless, of course, it comes from a nearly naked woman. Yeah. Time now for household hints from adult film stars. Hi, I'm Serenity, and I'm the star of Wicked Sex Party. And this is Julianne. You may know me from my work in Where the Boys Are at Seven and Blondage. Today we're in the bedroom to show you how to keep fitted sheets on your bed. I move around a lot at night, and I hate it when my bottom sheet comes off the mattress. So here's an easy way to make sure the sheets stay on the bed where they belong. 
First, I want you to take a piece of elastic about 16 inches long and thread a needle and sew the elastic diagonally across the corner of the sheet. Do it on all four corners and the sheets will stay on the bed all night, no matter how much you toss and turn. Want to show them? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to turn out the lights for now and test these sheets out a little bit more. So until next time, I'm Serenity. Oh, oh that's right. And I'm doing it. <laughs> Schmelloies, am I right, fellas? Yeah. Coming up, we have movies men don't want to see and girls on trampolines. Fox, weave us some of that magic of yours. Ay, 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 ay. Your mother embezzles from sperm banks. So here comes another verse. It's worse than the other verse. So waltz me around again, Willie. Ay, 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 ay. Your father's in love with a donut. than having to sit through a chick movie. Two hours of feelings. I don't need that. I'd rather spend two hours locked in a porta potty with the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Even disaster movies like Titanic and Armageddon are infected with sappy love stories and woman crap. So as a service to men everywhere, we've put together a group of upcoming movies to avoid. Think of this as a cinematic early warning system. The, the following films are movies men don't want to see. First up, a comedy from the producers of the First Wives Club, two of America's most beloved stars in a wild romp through the hilarious world of blanket making, Bette Midler and Lily Tomlin are quilting. A yarn that alleviates stitches. Seriously, my wife would need an ether rag, a roll of duct tape, and a wheelbarrow to get me to that one. <laughs> Next, an inspiring struggle for pride and survival in the Old West. Dick Van Patten and LeVar Burton experienced firsthand the trials and tribulations of interracial gay adoption in the 1800s and pioneer dads. Oh. They worked the land and each other. Oh, yes, they do. I would rather take a bus full of hairdressers to see Snoopy on ice than go to this, <laughs> this dog. Next, from the makers of Forrest Gump, an ironic tale of one man's fight against fate. Robbie Benson plays a calligrapher whose world comes apart after he's stricken with carpal tunnel syndrome in Broken Quills. His future could use a hand. If that movie was playing in a theater that was flooded with old Milwaukee and strippers were drowning in it, I wouldn't step foot inside. <laughs> All right, now a police saga. Fresh off his smash hit Krippendorf's Tribe, Richard Dreyfus is Brad Feldman, a Baltimore cop who's never fired his gun, gets along great with his sergeant, plays by the rules, and who the mayor and DA both like a lot in By the Book. <laughs> He's cleaning up the streets from behind his desk. I would rather wear Sally Jesse Raphael's panties like a ski mask. <laughs> While she was in them. <laughs> Next, history repeats itself as one woman relives the struggles of her past. Coming this fall from Harpo Productions, Whoopi Goldberg as Harriet Tubman V in Freedom Train 2000. <laughs> Making stops at Dignityville and Equalityburg. Let me tell you something. If you superglued my genitalia to a cannonball and fired it through the front door of this theater, you couldn't get me to see a second of that. 
Next, from the director of Witness, after murder rocks the Renaissance Festival, Chicago cop Matthew Broderick goes undercover as a leather mug maker in Ye Have the Right to Remain Silent. Hey. What's going on? Hey, who is working the stuff back there? Who is... Oh. <laughs> I, I think she may have been working his stuff, and that was, a, that was the problem. Why don't we bring her back out here? What the hell is she doing behind there? That's just, that's just a bad programming decision. Angelique, come back out here, Angelique, will you? come out here. Yeah, come on out. Yeah, right. here we go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. And our final film, The Void, hits theaters next month. One of America's all-time favorite TV stars takes an erotic turn on the silver screen. Roseanne gets naked in... Roseanne gets naked. I, I should have, uh, I should have cut a hole in the bottom of this popcorn. <laughs> All right. You know, I, I don't want to bring the show down, but I had kind of a weird deja vu there. It was like a, a dream I had the other night. I mean, actually, it was, well, it was more of a nightmare. I always thought you were. into therapy. I mean, what do you think that meant? I don't know, but that was one ugly broad. <laughs> All right, if everyone's finished vomiting, I got to tell you, my wife is pissed because we had the bumper wife's perspective segment last week. We ran out of time, so we absolutely will get to it this week. She's a very loud and unpleasant woman. Yes, she is. Also on the way, girls jumping on trampolines. Oh. Juggies, shake us out of here. How it really happened. The truth behind the tragedy. The Amelia Earhart story. And that's how it really happened. A little history lesson. No doubt you've uh, heard the old theory, if you ask a hundred women to sleep with you, one is bound to say yes. Now, although I'm a married man, my first love has always been science, and my second love is cheating. Right, ladies? <laughs> so, join me as I combine those two loves and ask a hundred different women, oh, well, that was my wife, I think, <laughs> will you have sex with me? Hello, welcome to Hollywood. Would you like to have sex with me? Do you like to have sex with me? No, of course not. Would you like to have sex? No? Please. I'm begging you. I think you'd enjoy it. Wouldn't it be delightful if we had sex? Hello? Hi, I'm on the phone next to you. Would you like to have sex with me? No? 
How do you go about getting the ladies? Singing? Like, um, do you want to get freaky with me? Well, sing a little of Do You Want to Get Freaky With Me. So, baby, do you want to get freaky with you, baby? Uh-huh. I want to get freaky with you. Is that turning you on at all? Not at all, no. Attention, women of Venice Beach. Would anyone like to have sex with me? I will. You will? Yes. Great. I don't think insane women count for the experiment. Hi. Want to have sex? No. Excuse me, ladies. Would you like to have sex with me? No. Doing well today? Yeah. Would you like to have some sex? <laughs> yeah, would you like to have sex? Uh -huh. All right then, thank you. Hi, I notice you're arranging hats. Yes. Would you like to have sex? No. I'm arranging hats. Do you think a pair of new socks would attract the ladies? Yes. <laughs> I'll take them. Thank you. Do these socks that I'm wearing make you want to have sex with me? No. Oh. Now we're in Beverly Hills. The women are a little classier. They know quality. Would you be interested in any sex today? Mm -hmm. You don't have to make the sick face. Would you like to make love to me? No. It's a question of age. Oh. You know? Okay. I love you, but it's important. Would you have sex with me? Just a yes or no. Would you have sex with me? No. Would you, would you like to have sex? No. No. I don't think so. Uh, would you be interested in sex by any chance? Now? Yeah, now. No. No? All right. Thank you. About a half an hour. All right, I'll be here then. All right, baby, let's go. All right. Make me the sex cow. Tonight, you want to get freaking with me, baby? Uh -huh. I'm Irresistible the Woman. What can I say? We'll be right back with the man Joe. segment brought to you by Propoxidil, the revolutionary new treatment to prevent male pattern baldness. Propoxidil is not for everyone. In clinical tests, some patients complained of dry mouth, slight stomach discomfort, drowsiness, impotence, rectal discharge, development of breasts, and or full-blown AIDS. Only your doctor can decide if Propoxidil is right for you. Propoxidil, say hi to hair. Well, I for one had a good time. Did you guys enjoy yourselves? Yeah! Unfortunately, though, all good things have to come to an end, and now it is time for our wife's perspective with my wife, Gina. Um, we missed out on it last week, so Gina, why don't you go right ahead and launch into it. All right, here's what I don't like about your show. I don't like the girl... What? 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 We... Oh, no. I we can't understand. We seem to be experiencing some kind of technical difficulties. That is a, a shame. Oh, well, I tell you... Oh, no, my goodness, we're, uh, we, we've got to make a change of plans. I don't know what we're going to do to fill the time. Mm, hmm. Let me think. How about girls jumping on trampoline? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> when the equipment breaks down, there's not much you can do. Fox, can we have a Ziggy Socky? Ziggy Socky! Ziggy Socky!
The Man Show is a Stone Stanley production in association with Jack Hole Industries.